Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Backwards Compatible Reviews. I'm Jeff, and today we're taking a look at the backwards compatible Xbox Live Arcade version of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Released originally for the Sony PlayStation in March of 1997, the game received a large amount of critical success, but only a cult following in the United States, which has since grown. Several versions have been released in the 20-ish years since it originally came out, including the Xbox Live Arcade version in 2007, and a god-awful PSP version the same year, which was buried in an easy-to-miss secret several levels into a remake of Castlevania Dracula X. There is a version on the PlayStation Network, but currently the only version playable on a current-gen system is the backwards-compatible version on the Xbox One. A departure from the original series' tried-and-true gameplay based around learning enemy patterns and navigating semi-linear levels with a cool boss punctuating each, this entry in the series put the Vania in Metroidvania. It's an action RPG in which you navigate a large, complex, two-dimensional map filled with power-up specific obstacles and inventive bosses, the ultimate goal being to defeat Dracula and save the world from evil. The RPG elements and ability to change your equipment allow you to level your character, mitigating some of the difficulty for less skilled players. Exploration is rewarded in multiple ways, including access to a secret second half of the game. The entire map is flipped upside down in this mode and you discover the true, hidden secret behind Dracula's castle. At least in this timeline. PERFORMANCE! The game runs beautifully on Xbox One, as it did on the Xbox 360. This version is an updated port of the original, with a new user interface outside of the game, ability to tweak graphics, achievements, and more. This is the best running version of the game that exists, with practically no loading. Going back to the original versions, both on the PlayStation and emulated on the PC, I found that load times between the zones and during cutscenes caused jarring interruptions in the pacing of the levels. What is your business here? I've come to put an end to this. Mortals. Luckily, modern gaming hardware has solved this issue. User experience! Symphony of the Night on Xbox One still plays responsibly and feels great. The Xbox One directional pad is especially useful for performing magic and other combo attacks present in the game. The ability to customize graphics, sound, and controls are a welcome addition to the Xbox Live Arcade version emulated here. The game is entirely single-player, so internet connectivity is a non-issue after you download the game. It simply looks, plays, and feels great. One critique I have for this version, however, is that it is missing some things. It's not missing enough to be egregious. I personally consider the most glaring omission to be the opening CG cutscene. However, purists and diehards that have completed this game multiple times will definitely notice the things that aren't here. If you're one of these people, what's missing may be enough to turn you off this version of the game. Final verdict! This game is still a blast to play almost 20 years later. The combat and exploration are still as satisfying as they were in the original version. The backwards compatible version available now on Xbox One is, in my opinion, the best version of the game available now. But to be sure, this game is great on almost any version you can find. It's $10! Buy it. This is one of the originators of the Metroidvania genre of games. It's a classic that still holds up to more modern takes on the genre. If you enjoy this style of game, and you've never played this before, what are you waiting for? Hey everybody, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Backwards Compatible Reviews. Um, if you liked what you saw here, definitely click like on the video, um, and if you want to see more, click the subscribe button. We have lots of different things on the channel, full Let's Plays, weird shows, more backwards compatible reviews. Uh, once again, thank you, I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I will see you next time.